Now that we know about text styles, let's talk about text modifiers. Text modifiers give us more options for animating our text runs. By default, our text modifier isn't doing anything. This is because we haven't given it any properties to modify. To give it a property, just go up here to this plus sign, and you can select a property from this drop-down. Right now, we can select from Opacity, Origin, Position, Rotation, Scale, and because this is a variable font, we can also affect the weight, optical size, and like I said in a previous tutorial, some variable fonts allow you to affect the slant as well. For this tutorial, I'm just going to select Position. And you can see that up here. We can affect the X position, and we can affect the Y position. I'm just going to set the Y position to be minus 20. And I'll rename this modifier group to be Position Modify. Now let's go down here and look at the range. Right now, the modifier is affecting the entire text run. This is because our range is set from 0% to 100%, but we can be more specific. So if I increase the beginning of the range to say 20%, and then decrease the end of the range to say 80%, you can see up here that our modifier is only affecting the text within our chosen range. Anything outside of our range is left unaffected. The next two values underneath range are fall off. If I increase the beginning of the fall off to say 40% and decrease the end of the fall off to say 60%, this creates a kind of gradient effect from the beginning and end of our modifier range. As you can see, the closer a letter is to this blue section, the more it is affected by the modifier. But the further away that letter is, the less it is affected. The last thing we can affect is the offset. This lets us move our range up and down the text run. In essence, offset is moving the entire modifier effect along the text run. And as you can see, this is a good way of creating a bounce or wave effect. Right now, we're only modifying the position property. However, we can modify multiple properties at once. So I'm just going to add opacity, and you can see that it's set to 100%. So you can see up here that opacity is being affected in exactly the same way that the position is being affected. Outside of our range, the value is set to the baseline of zero. But within our range, the modifier is setting the opacity to be 100%. And in the fall off on either side, the opacity is somewhere between zero and 100%. We can invert the opacity like this, and we need to set this to 0%. And so doing this has the exact opposite effect. I'm just going to remove opacity for now. And let's go down here into the range settings and explore a few more properties that we can control. By default, the text modifier affects characters. This means each individual letter in our range. We get the option to exclude spaces. And we can change the range mode. This is a pretty niche option, so you don't really have to worry about this. But just in case, let's say that we have two ranges within one text modifier group. And let's say both ranges are affecting the position. What happens to the positional values when the ranges overlap? Do we add the values together? Do we subtract them, multiply, and so on? I'll just delete this second range. We can affect the strength of our modifier within our chosen range. And we can change the range type. So instead of the range being calculated as a percent, we can change it to an index. And in this case, the index is going to count the number of characters instead. So if I set this to be 0 and set this to be 20, our range is now set from the beginning of the text run to the 20th character of our text run. But I'm just going to set this back to percent and change this back to 20 by 80 and show you the next option, which is the fall off interpolation. Right now it's set to linear, but we can change it to cubic as well. 
and we can change the shape of the interpolation so that the modifier falloff works exactly how we want it to. By default, we've been affecting individual characters. However, we can also affect words. Or we can even affect whole lines of text. But for now, I'm just going to stick with one line and affect the characters. Up here, next to the name of our modifier, we can turn it off or on. And down here, we have a run selector, which by default is affecting all of the text runs. But let's say I had more than one text run. Let's say I had three text runs. And let's say I only wanted to affect one of my three text runs. I just select a text run here. And now the modifier is only affecting this specific text run. I'm just going to set it back to all. And if you find these blue bars distracting, you can hide them by going up here and go down here and turn off the text modifier range. So no more blue bars, but you can still see the range with these blue lines. And finally, remember, this is Rive, which means you can animate basically any of the text modifier properties that we've just discussed.